All right, I've already recorded this voiceover three times. This time better be the winner. Today, I'm gonna be taking you to Pilates with me. Got up a little bit before eight. I wanted to make sure I had time to get everything together this morning. I start the day off by drinking some water and then taking my daily vitamin, my omega-3 and my probiotic. I've been really trying to be better with my supplementation. So taking it first thing in the morning really helps me. And then I start Micah's coffee and my coffee. I'm trying to phase out of caffeine so I'm only drinking like a quarter of a small shot of espresso every day. I pour the rest into Micah's coffee and he doesn't seem to mind. I make my bed in the morning so I don't have to worry about it later and then I brush my teeth and do my skincare routine. I love my skincare routine. I have a video on it on my channel. I love how it makes my skin really glowy without being greasy and then I put on my deodorant and my perfume because I love smelling good and I weigh myself every morning. So now I'm gonna make my ice latte I just do a little bit of oat milk and a little bit of sugar-free vanilla, blend it together. Eventually, I'd like to phase this out in the morning, but right now, this is what we're doing. Once I drank that, I went and got Brogan up. We had went to the beach the day before, so he was super tired and actually slept in until almost 8.30. I got him dressed and got his room cleaned so that we didn't have to worry about it later, and then made him breakfast and made his lunch. I like to vacuum in the morning before I leave because then I don't have to worry about it later. Once he was done eating his breakfast, and watching his shows we went and walked to the car so that I could take him to daycare then when I got back I worked on a little bit of wedding planning and also edited a YouTube video that's already posted now got dressed and got ready for Pilates I'm super sunburnt so I'm wearing this like stretchy outfit I normally wouldn't wear grabbed my Pilates socks my body armor and my go macro bar and headed out the door my Pilates class is only 10 to 15 minutes from my house which is awesome it's in this newer mall in Long Beach which is super cool Cool. it has all kinds of awesome stuff i love walking around after my class and the first 90 minutes of parking is free so i don't have to worry about paying there's almost always a spot so that's great Once I get parked, I get my stuff together and head towards the elevators to go down to the first floor. I hate wearing these shoes in public, but they're so comfortable. I did not hit the button the first time. My forehead is looking so glowy. I love it so much. And then I walk over to my class. I love this mall. Like I said, it's so cute and they have so much color everywhere. I head and check into my class and look at the socks they have. I really want this one pair of socks, but I'm trying to convince myself I don't need to spend the money. They are just so cute. So I got here a little bit early so I can pick my reformer. I sit down and start stretching and then I didn't want to film the class because I didn't want to get anyone on camera, but I did do like a time lapse. It's not the best, but you can sort of see how the springs move. This class is so hard. When I'm all done, I wipe down my reformer and I like to walk over to Lululemon and just see if they have anything new. Just sort of check out the store and like catch my breath. I love Lululemon. I wish I could afford to shop there more. And then I walked across the street over to the marina because my legs are usually a little tight after Pilates and I like to work them out and kind of walk them. So I love looking at all the boats. I walked up and down the marina. And this baby crab came running out in front of me and I swore it was this huge spider. I about jumped out of my skin. These two boat owners saw me and were probably like this poor girl. I'm not used to that. We don't have crabs in Indiana, so I'm definitely not used to seeing them all the time. So I walked back to my car and realized that I am out of gas, which is great because gas is so expensive right now. And then I head back home. So I found that Pilates class on ClassPass. I was living here about five months when I realized that just having a home gym in our garage wasn't motivating enough to get me in shape. And with our wedding coming up in November, I'm really trying to be in like the best shape of my life. So I tried ClassPass, I kept hearing about it. Initially, I went to a Barry's class. I don't know if you guys have heard of Barry's Boot Camp. There's some guy on the road. Barry's boot camp. It is very intense, like hit training. I did 
two of those classes and I really liked it, but I was really out of shape and probably not at the right time to be taking a class like that. So I tried a bar class, which I really liked. I tried a cycle class, which it was a very intense, crazy class and I had no idea what was going on. So I didn't personally like it. It was too dark to even see my bike and I had never done a cycle class before. So it was really confusing. It was probably a good class. I just, it was me, not the class. Then I wanted to try a Pilates class and this class had high ratings on ClassPass and it was really close to my house. So I went for the first time. I got there early. This really nice lady, Judy, helped me out. She was so helpful. She explained the whole machine to me. She helped me buy socks because you have to have like the grippy socks and pretty much told me like, do what you can in the class. It's going to be hard. It's going to be confusing, but just try to keep up as best you can and whatever you can do, you can do. If it's too hard, make it smaller, stuff like that. You know, the class was hard. It wasn't so hard like with berries where you're like, I literally am going to throw up. I would be trying to do different moves movements and like I was like failing out I like, couldn't do it so I was like oh, I don't know if that was like great or not and the next day I was so sore like I would breathe and I was sore so I knew that it was doing something and I went back again to another one of her classes and I really liked it a lot again I was super sore the next day and ever since then I've just been going back I've probably taken 10 of their classes now try to do like two a week two three a week and I really like it. I'm sore every single time. I still am not at the point where I can do everything. I'm definitely the weakest person in the class, every class. I know it's gonna take time. I took a lot of time off after having broken from being in shape. My muscles are totally atrophied and Pilates is hard. It's just, especially on the reformer, it's really hard. You think you can do something, it looks so easy and you just can't just can't do it and you have to be okay with that. Something that seems so simple, you go to do it and you go really slow and you try to hold it and you realize you like physically can't do it. It's very humbling. So today's class was really good. I've had a few different instructors, some seemingly newer, some more experienced and the girl today seemed very experienced. Her class was great. We just kept moving, which I really like. Staying in one movement for too long, I feel like my muscles just burn out so quick and then I'm not really getting anything out of it because I just can't do it like I can't even hold the position anymore let alone like move in the position even slowly so I feel like when we quickly move to something else like of course we come back but it gives that muscle like a chance and I end up being able to do a lot more of the class maybe as I get better I will like you know different classes more but I really like the class today we moved a lot you know we would do one hold and it would be like burning but then like you switch to the next thing so I felt like I did a lot of the class and I really was tired like trying to open the door to leave my Pilates class I was like oh my god I'm trying to pull the door open and it's hurting which is a great feeling I want to feel like a noodle when I leave and to be able to do so much of the class and leave feeling like a noodle is great. I'm definitely gonna look back at my app and see what that instructor's name was so I can sign up for classes with her in the future because that was really good. If you happen to be local to Long Beach and you want to head to Be Fit Modern Pilates, you should book with either Judy or this instructor. I mean, everyone's been good. Even as a newcomer, I understood everything. She said it in ways that made sense that I was able to quickly switch from one movement to the next with almost no downtime, which is really good. That way you can keep your muscles going and hot and everything. I don't know. At this point, I'm just rambling. I really like Pilates. I really like class pass. I really am trying to get in shape for my wedding and I feel like Pilates has been the answer to my searching for a fitness class. I've done some yoga. I've done, you know, that hit class. Pilates, for some reason, I just keep signing up and signing up and signing up. And I notice now that my core feels stronger. I can really like flex my core now in a way that I couldn't before. Things are happening. Things are changing. Anywho. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for coming along with me to Pilates. Talk to you later. As always, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye guys.